Hello friends and welcome to another video lesson from DBOS Talks. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button and click the bell so that you can be notified of any new uploads. In this video, we'll be giving you 12 good reasons why you must use Notepad++. Notepad++, this is the, the logo, maybe the how it looks in, in its official website. You've probably heard of, I'm sure you've been using Windows, not only Windows 10, but even earlier versions of it. And just a background, we know that Windows has a couple of text editors uh, at our disposal. The first one being Notepad itself, the native Notepad, which is a native, um, the default text editor of Windows. So we see it on screen. It can handle plain text, ASCII, like what we see. It cannot, it will not do any kind of special formatting that, such as um, giving font colors or making the text bold, italic, or underscore, putting underscores on it, but simple plain text. It's a text editor. We've seen it, we've used it many times. So there you go, this is Notepad. Okay, I'll close this and the next, um editor which is um available by default in windows is called wordpad wordpad is like a step up it is not a new um application it's been around for since the 1990s or even before and it is a it has more features it gives you more capabilities than a plain text editor like notepad so it gives you the capability to of course do some formatting such as what you see here. Okay, you can do the bold, italics, underscore, font size, um, choose the font, etc. So we've seen WordPad. This is like uh, the big brother of Notepad, right? Okay, let's close this. And then finally, we have the world's most popular word processing application, Microsoft Word, or simply Word. Of course, as we know, it has it is a it has much much more or more powerful features and capabilities than the other two notepad or wordpad okay so this is your microsoft word so there you go these three of course we know are available in most if not all flavors of microsoft windows uh, operating system right but in this video we will be talking about Notepad++. This is not a Microsoft application. It is a uh, freeware. It is open source. It is free. Okay, so I'm giving you 12 good reasons why you should start using it also as a student, as a, an employee, or even at home as a user of a desktop computer, a laptop, anything running on Windows, or even Linux uh, has um, versions of Notepad that are running or can be used on Linux operating systems. But here we'll be focusing on using this on a Windows environment, Notepad++. Remember, it's open source, it's freeware. It's not part of uh, Microsoft's fleet of Office applications, but it works very well in Windows also. And it's uh, so I'm giving you the 12 good reasons. There could be more, much more than 12. There could be 20, there could be 50 reasons to why you should start using this, but let's start with 12. It's a good number. Okay, let's start with, okay. let me just, give me a second, give me a second. So the first reason to do this, to use this is, it's actually downloadable for free, okay? It is downloadable for free. You can download it from this website over here, notepad++.org. You can simply, if you don't remember this, just Google it, notepad++, even with a double plus sign, and it's downloadable for free, okay? That's the first good thing, advantage of using this notepad++. The second reason is, is that it has the ability to open, it can allow you to open or edit very big files. 
in the good old days, even, even now, when you use the default text editor of Windows like Notepad, it can only open files up to maybe a few megabytes. Once the file hits, I don't know, five megabytes or 10 or 20, it will struggle. But here, I'll show you that, um, I'll show you that Notepad++ can open a big file. Here we have a sample file, which is, you can clearly see it is 20 megabytes, 20 megabytes, okay? Now it effortlessly opens using Notepad++. This is Notepad++ right now you're using. And remember it's 20 megabytes file. It can even, you can even use, I mean, open a much, much bigger file than this, but I'm just giving you this for illustration, a 20 megabyte file. That's not a small file at all. It's a big file, but it can be easily opened by Notepad++. Not only that, of course, it gives you the um, ability to edit the file, okay? So that's number two. The third advantage or reason for you to be, to start using Notepad++ is that you can highlight all the occurrences of a word in a Notepad++. So let's say in this file, if we've opened, which is very big, if I click on a word, normally if you use a text editor like Notepad, not this one, the default Notepad, then if you click or highlight a word, it will only highlight that word that you were pointing at. But here, if I highlight a word, Notice that it automatically highlights all occurrences of that word in the file, which is a very big help for um, people who are looking for, you know, duplicate occurrences of a, a word, You're doing some data analysis, any kind of work. This is not just for people working exclusively on IT, but anybody who is doing office work, school work, this kind of feature is very, very handy, very, very useful. So that's number three reason to be using Notepad++. Highlight multiple occurrences of a word if there are multiple. The fourth one is you can work on multiple tabs. As you know, when we use a text editor, a normal default text editor, we can only work on a single file at a time. But here in Notepad++, which has been around for a couple of years, let's say I'm, I want to work on multiple files. I can just keep on con, uh, typing control N almost endlessly, you know, and you can be, you'll be able to work on multiple files at once. And you can toggle between them as you wish. I don't know the limit, but it is, I have, uh, I have used this opening more than maybe 20 files, 30 files, it goes on, 50 files, you can open them all at once. Of course, there'll be, um, there'll be the downside, of course, if you open too many of them, then uh, later on, you can, you will have resource problems, issues with um, memory, maybe memory usage, but that's just beside the point. But the thing is that you have this capability to be working on multiple files at once. So I'll be closing them for now. The next thing, the next reason you have to be using Notepad++ is this. You can count the occurrences of a word. Remember that you have the many reasons, there are more than 12 of these reasons to be using so. But I'm just giving you a look-see, a peek into what's in store for you if you start using this. Of course, um, this doesn't compare with Microsoft Word in terms of capabilities, but as a text editor, it's very powerful indeed. 
That is why it has been favored by IT professionals for a couple of years, even up till now. It's a very popular, I would say, probably the most popular text editor out there. Okay, so it can count the occurrences of a word. How is that? Let's look at this example again. Let's say I wanted to uh, count. This is a very big file. Remember, it's 20 megabytes. I cannot just go, of course, the traditional way I would be doing this, I, I would do a control F and then I would count one, two, three, okay, until I'm lulled to sleep. But the other way, because of this um, a feature of Notepad++, plus plus, okay, I wanted to count the number of times or occurrences of this word small. So I click on that, it gets highlighted. I click on uh, press control F, it brings up the find dialog box. And then I click on this button over here, find all in current document. I click on that. And then if you look at the bottom of this Notepad++, plus plus, it tells you, I mean the bottom pane, P-A-N-E. It gives you this eight hits in one file. So in this one file we're looking at, Notepad++ plus plus found eight hits or eight occurrences of the word small. And it highlights them nicely for you to have a good look. Not just the word, but the line wherein that word was found. It shows you the whole line. It even tells you the number, the line number. And then not only that, you can even zoom in on that. I mean, you can go straight to that line. Let's say you're interested in this line 65 and you wanted to investigate something. You can click on that double click, and it goes to that line 65. You see, 65, see? So that's cool, that's a cool feature, very useful for, like I said, it doesn't matter, student, professional, even those who are using their home computers, desktop, laptop, anything running on Windows OS. And in fact, this Notepad++ Plus Plus is already even being used in the Linux, Linux world, okay? So that's reason number five, count occurrences of a word. Now let's go to reason number six. It can easily search and replace text. It's a given in most text editors out there, yes. But again, Notepad++ beats the competition. Okay, let's just say, this word small. So I'll do a control F, it brings up the find dialog box. And then I will click on this replace um, tab. And then the small I can, I want to replace it with something tiny. And then I can click, I will now click on the replace all button. Remember, this is a 20 megabyte file. So it is may not be as quick as your regular file you're working on. This is a 20, meg 20 megabyte file. I click now on replace all button and it quickly, quickly does the job. If you look at the dialog at the bottom, you see replace all eight occurrences were replaced. So it uh, replaced the word, all occurrences of the word small with tiny. And if you can go deeper, you can see a checkbox here called um, labeled match case, meaning it will be case sensitive. If you want it to be replaced by something like this uppercase, then it will do that. Okay, so now I'll save this. It's a 20, 20 megabyte file. So you can see now, there shouldn't be any occurrence of small, even if I type in lowercase, none. Why? Because I've, it's been replaced. All of them have been replaced by tiny, right? So that is um, reason number six, why we should be using Notepad++. Okay, I'll just show you Notepad++. Where is the, oh, where is here? Okay, so this is, this is, there is always a new version coming up every, I don't know, month or so or less. So that's 
reason number six. Now let's move on with reason number seven. Why you should be using Notepad++. It can search and replace text in multiple files. Okay, so I will not giving a demo on this one, but I'll just show you where it will be done. So let's say you wanted to make replacements of text, search and replace, not in one file, but in multiple files residing in the same directory. You can do that here. So again, you will click on Control F, brings up the find, find dialog box. And then you'll go to this one, this tab, tab called find in files. You click on that. And then you supply your search string or search word. And then what do you want to replace it with? And then here in the directory, you will specify, or you can even browse where you wanted it to be. So, and then when you do replacing files, it will search for this and replace it with this in the directory that you have supplied here in all of the text files. Remember, text files that will be found in the directory that you supply. So that's what it does. It's that powerful. Okay, that is reason number seven. Let's go to number eight now. It can know the length. It can tell you the length of text, including spaces. Okay, let's bring back the, the file. If you look at this text file open in Notepad++, and then I click on a word, let's say I clicked, now let's focus on something different. Let me type a different word, okay, um, art. Okay, so I type this word art. Now, when I highlight it with my mouse or with my keyboard, if you look at the bottom, there's a cell here. I'm pointing at this one at the bottom of the Notepad++ window itself. There is a cell, S-E-L, and it has a colon followed by a number. That is counting the number of letters that you select or highlight. See, so when I highlight the word art, it contains three characters. And then here, cell says three. It does more than that. It can, it can count even spaces, like I told you. So if I highlight, see, I highlight this whole chunk of text, all that are covered by the gray. Then if you look at cell, it tells you there are 1,018 characters. This is very handy because uh, in certain kinds of work, office work, class work, any kind of work, you will sometimes find the need to count the characters. Example, you are, you are, um, you're doing some school work and the teacher said, oh, uh, you need to write a composition and the maximum number of letters or characters, including spaces and punctuations is this and this such number of characters then you can use this kind of functionality, which is available in Notepad++, okay? And then let's move on to number nine. It can indent multiple lines using the tab key of your keyboard. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's say we're here. Normally, and if you look, uh, if you use a, text editor like notepad, not this one, the notepad of uh, native to Windows. If you try to uh, tab one line, it's no problem. But sometimes if you try to tab a couple and you do a tab, it becomes a delete. That's based on some observation. But here you can indent multiple lines, no matter how many they are using the tab button, contiguous lines, lines that are beside each other. You can tab them all at, all at once, you see? And then you can even tab them some more. Okay, that's reason number nine. Now let's go to reason number 10. What is it? 
it can color code text according to its file type. Example, SQL file, XML. In fact, it supports many kinds of files. Actually, I'm, I am understating it. This isn't just color coding the thing, but it really gives you visibility, gives you a clarity of the file you're looking at. I'll show you what I mean. Um, give me a second. You see, I have some sample files over here. I have one which I conveniently file named sample SQL. It's an SQL file. If you look at the type, it's as an extension of SQL. So if I open that using Notepad++, see what it does. It recognizes because of the extension of SQL. I mean, the file as an extension of the letters SQL. So Notepad++ recognizes this is an SQL file. So what it does is it color codes keywords of SQL. You see they're in blue, they are keywords commands or reserved words or keywords, select from where and and on the bottom. So these are keywords in SQL. When you are doing this, you're a programmer, you're a database guy, you're a data analyst, data scientist, you are uh, maybe not really into IT, but as part of your work, you're doing reports and then you have to touch a little bit on SQL, then you'll find this very useful because just one look at a file gives you an idea where the keywords are, uh, where the comments are. Comment here is in green, you see? So I'll give you an example. This is SQL. If I close this and then open a file, which is XML. See, I conveniently named it sample XML for your, um, so for better illustration. So if I open that, you can see the extension of its file is XML. If I open this, it's an XML file, you see? Notepad++ isn't just a plain text editor, it does more than that. So it recognizes this is an XML file. So it color codes again the, the keywords it finds. It will recognize, oh, there is tagging here. Ah, oh, this is a tag. Oh, this is a, see, it color codes them according to um, understanding, having that understanding of the format the reserve words or keywords of certain file formats. Okay, now I'll give you an example of how powerful it is. So I'll open, I did control N, I clicked the control N and opened a new blank file. It's a blank file. See what it does. Imagine I copied everything from an XML file, control A, control C, and then I can close this. I will paste it here. So initially you can see it's all in black. Initially Notepad++ doesn't know that this is XML. Of course, it's not a, it's not, a human being is so much wiser than a software. So for us, just doing an eyeball at this, just doing a visual check on this, you already know, uh, oh, this is an XML file. I know I recognize the tags, this is an XML file, all right. But a software doesn't, it doesn't have eyes. So, but Notepad++, you can tell Notepad++, oh, this is an XML file. Although I haven't saved it yet. It hasn't been saved, it's a new blank file. It used to be blank and then I pasted here some content from an XML file. So I wanna tell um, Notepad++, this is an XML and I, I don't necessarily want to save it, but I want to use Notepad++ feature in recognizing this file so that I can do my work better. What do I do? You click on the language menu and then you choose and look for the language or file format for this. In this case, we will be looking for XML. You see, for now it's all black, isn't it? Now you click on S language menu and then you go to XML. Voila. Now you can see the file has been is not a save file yet, it's still unsaved, but because I clicked on language in XML, instantaneously, Opel Plus Plus realizes, oh, okay, I, gotta, I have work to do. I have to format this file, assuming it's an XML file. See what it does. So it looks exactly like the 
XML file we've opened a while back, right? Okay, I'll give you another one. I will open the SQL file, okay? And then copy its contents, Control A, Control C, and then go to that blank file. Close this. Again, you see that initially, because this is not the same file, it used to be a blank file, and then I just pasted the content over here. Initially, Notepad++ doesn't even know that you pasted SQL code into it, right? But because of this functionality, it has the smarts, it has that intelligence to be able to recognize this once you give it the cue. So you go to the language menu again, and then you look for the appropriate file format or language of this. In this case, this is SQL. So you go to S and then you look for SQL. And again, you're amazed. It, although the file is still not saved, it doesn't have a file name, it doesn't have an extension. It's somewhere in there, it's in the memory. But because of this feature, uh, going to the language and picking the language of this content, then Notepad Plus Plus conveniently formats the file in front of you, um, color coding the reserve words, the keywords for your convenience. Okay, so that is. We're looking at reason number 10, why you should be using Notepad++, not just for office work, for any kind of work, school work, home, leisure also, okay? That is number 10. Let's go to number 11. It can compare or do a diff, a difference of two text files. Normally we've seen um, many freeware applications do this. In fact, diff has been around since late, late 1960s because of Unix, a more powerful operating system. But here in Notepad, this isn't just a text editor, it's more than that, I told you. So it has a plugin which is also available. You can uh, use this plugin admin here to initially install it. Okay, so when you download the Notepad++, the plugins are already bundled with it, but they are not loaded by default just because it might, it is on demand. But once you install it via this plugins menu, go to plugins admin, then you'll be able to um, install. So I'll just close this and then do a demo of Uh, doing a diff of two files, okay. So I'll open these two files. I'll call them file one, file two. Okay, you can see there are two files. They don't look much different from each other. They look very, very similar. If we do an eyeball check. So we'll do a diff. We'll use the compare tool of Notepad++, okay. So when you go to, first thing is to you, you're trying to compare two files. I haven't tried comparing more than two, but maybe it can do that. But let's start with two. So you open the two files you wanted to compare, and then you put your focus on the first file, maybe. And then you go to plugins menu, click on that, and then compare. Then you click on set as first to compare. You're trying to tell Notepad++, the one where I'm at right now is the first file I wanted to compare, OK? And then you click on the second file, and then you go to plugins, compare, compare. And there you go. It does the job very quickly. Um, so it does a diff or a comparison of the two text files. Remember that this capability can only be uh, can only be possible when comparing two text files or ASCII files. You cannot do this to compare a uh, text file and a word file. No, because word is not pure text. It has formatting, it has some other things not supported by ASCII. Okay, so here you can see clearly the difference. It uh, highlighted in a shade of yellow, uh, both sides of the file. It gives you the file name, file one, file two, and then it is showing the, the difference. It highlights the word, First, it highlighted the line where it occurs, 
and then it highlighted in the darker color the word itself, which differs between the two. In this case, it's cat versus fox. Okay, so there you go. That's the reason number eleven why you should be using Notepad plus plus. Okay, I'm gonna close these two files and Magic Twelve. No, 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 no. Twelve reason number twelve. It can convert text to uppercase or lowercase. In fact, more than that, it can convert to what it is called, it calls, um, I think, proper case. Okay, it's better to open a real file. Okay, let's try this. Okay, we have a file here. I have control that. I'll highlight everything so you can see it clearly. And then we go to edit. So right now we have a natural case. What you would have, what you would see or expect in a normal sentence, proper sentence. So let's click on edit, convert case to uppercase. And all of them are convert, converted to uppercase. Again, you do this. You want to convert them to all lowercase. Convert case to lowercase. And there you have it. And you also do this, select all and then edit, convert case. You can see there are other options. I'll just try to show you for a sec. Proper case. Proper case is sometimes called init caps. So each word was um, capitalized. The first letter was capitalized in each word of the sentence. So it's up to you. So you have seen the 12 very, very good reasons why you should be using Notepad++. I hope you enjoyed it. You really found golden nuggets to take home with you, um, even during this time of COVID. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe. So you will really, um, there will be lots of videos down the road and the journey continues. Thank you.